Hi everybody, how's it going? So I wanted to show you this mini album that I just got done. Um, <clears throat> I would have had it done earlier in the week, but I had an unexpected tooth extraction. Yay for wisdom teeth! Just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, I went in Wednesday <clears throat> and they basically just said, actually Tuesday, sorry, and they just basically said that it had to come out that day and it was not fun. I am such a big baby when it comes to pain that as soon as they told me my face was already welling up with tears and not to mention that they had to give me anesthesia three times um, during the procedure so <laughs> that was fun. Not. Anyway so my cousin's husband's wedding is this July and I wanted to make a mini album because it was giving me a project so that I could show you guys um, and so hopefully I can get back in the mojo of doing more videos. If you've been part of my Facebook page, I've been doing a lot of layouts lately. Um, so this is what I got for you YouTubers. So I hope you like it. Anyways, her wedding colors are purple and a light purple and I wanted to actually throw in some greens and blues in there because I think the combination of all of them are so pretty. I wanted to stay away from pinks and make it primarily the purples. There is still a little bit of things I had to work on. Like I have to just add a little bit of flowers and just a little bit of um, pearls, but it's nothing that's gonna really change the look of a lot of these pages. So, um, oh, and not to mention I have to add page or um, uh, tags in some of the pockets. So, anyways, this is the cover. I'll go ahead and do a close up. So it says, so that is why today is the best day ever. And it just has a collage of some homemade flowers and these like sparkly leaves that you fi I found on clearance after Christmas. And then the side, I don't know if I want to do anything more with the side, but for now this is what I got. I got a lace trim with the color from the cover and the back cover. And the spine is three inches and the, the book is eight and three quarters by... Uh, five and a half so and the inside of the book is eight and a half by five and a half so I will go ahead and show you what I got all right so here is the front of the book it says true love so cute and some of these I got from the tie the knot cartridge and the other ones I got from gypsy wanderings um, from my gypsy and then there's a little ring here with some shoes and like right here I think I'm going to add some um liquid pearls for the shoelaces and then I just got the word journey with her wedding dress kind of so that way they can show them getting ready for the wedding and then for this page it just says remember and that is open in the back so she can slide pictures in there and then this one is an eighth of an inch little um pocket if you can see the little height on that it was hard to get it an eighth of an inch but I like the look of it um, I ended up putting a tag in there and she could put journaling either on here or a photo in the back whatever she chooses and then she could put a small photo in the back <clears throat> so this is where I'm gonna add some white pearls up on top but like I said it's not really gonna change too much and um, two of these pages are pockets so this one's a pocket and then I'll show you the other one sorry all right so for this page, it is a waterfall. I'm not going to pull everything out, but it does pull and then go back. So, and it says moments on top. And I did do a little collage of like pearls up by the title to kind of bring tie those colors all in together. And then for this one, <clears throat> it's a page that I folded in half and then folded in half again, folded in half again right here. So, we got pockets right here. And these tags I cut out from the tie the knot cartridge it's like called I think it's called the card function but anyways they're blank in the back and they just go in there and then I was gonna put a little tag in here and then this one's um, a little dress that she can write on the back if she likes but there's a pocket for additional photos and it just slides in right there all right so for the next page I just got a journaling spot with some wine glasses and I did, um, I don't know if you can see, I did stickle and pearl, put some pearl, liquid pearls on it. Um, for this one another decorative page just like the front and it flips out and it says bride and then groom where they can put a picture of, you know, each of them during the wedding. And then for this page it says fabulous and there's just like a photo mat right there. And then right here I'm just going to add a little 
flower to the corner of these. Um, and then here's a tag. It says wedding. And then they could put a big picture here or a few small pictures here. And then this one is a pocket too up on top. So I won't show you. But anyways. Um, so this one says Mr. and Miss. And it, it is open on the back. So if they wanted to slide a picture in there, they can do that. And then for this page... We got this little fun tag. It actually was an accident, but I decided to use it anyway. Um, and then we got these little tags. I did make this little dress. Um, I added, I cut out another layer on top and cut out this like bustier part. And then it's blank in the back. And we got a tag that says love. And then another tag with just a little flower floral decoration. And a slide in there. And for the last page, it just says forever. I'm thinking I might put a vellum envelope on the back here, but I'm not sure. So, anyways, I really hope you guys like the album. I didn't make it too thick. There we go. There's a side. Um, and so just let me know what you think. You guys have a wonderful day, okay? Bye.